What's up everybody, it's Aparicio. Today, I wanted to run you through common beginner mistakes in DaVinci Resolve. These are mistakes I think most people do when they first download DaVinci Resolve and start color grading. So I'm gonna guarantee if you stay away from these things, if you kind of stop these bad habits, that your grades will start to look better. Let's get right into it. I'd say this is a, one of the bigger mistakes is you have your shot and you just go right into grading. So you'll go to your, uh, your gain, um, your lift, you bring that down, and your gamma, and you'll start to uh, bring contrast to the shot. So you're just going right into grading. You're not correctly converting this into Rec. 709 through DaVinci Resolve. You're just going right for the grade, and then you're gonna you're gonna saturate it a little bit more because it's uh, desaturated. And there you go. You know, if you know about it, you'll pull up your vector scope, and you're gonna try and balance the shot. Here we are on our second beginner mistake. Um, you're gonna do all of this in one node, so you're not really keeping track of what you're doing. And then here's another beginner mistake. You're gonna go use your temp and your tint to uh, balance your shot, which is garbage. Uh, somebody on the street, they wouldn't mind this uh, image, I don't think, a uh, random person. So right off the bat, we already have three beginner mistakes not properly converting to uh, Rec. 709 and jumping right into your grade, not keeping track of what you're doing with your nodes, using temp and tint to white balance. Let's move on to our next beginner mistake. You're using your qualifier too much. So um, somebody would qualify the skin, put on the highlight up here, which I do kind of see it a lot, people I think people, I think even more, not more professional, but like people that um, color rate a lot, they, I think they use the qualifier too much and it's, it's kind of annoying. So we qualified our skin and we might saturate it a little bit and then we'd make another node. Maybe we want to pop the green out more. So let's color that, turn on the highlight. Uh, we've selected the green and now let's kind of make sure we've only got that selected and then something a beginner would not do is they wouldn't come over here to the right and kind of put a blur or a denoise on this uh, qualifier selection and it's going to be really uh, tacky and, and sharp so let's bring up the saturation of the grass um, okay there we go so let's see what we've done it's not horrible but let's go ahead and play it and you can see some gray start to pop up in her skin when she moves and you can just see it in here if you look oh god that's horrendous the shot is just breaking it's ugly let's go on to our professional uh kind of simple grade here all right so first of all a professional would uh correctly transfer this image from log to rec 709 I have a video uh, on that, a separate video on that, and click on it at the top right, right now. So you could watch that video if you don't know how to do that. Okay, so we've converted this to Rec. 709. Now in the primaries, we would come to a parade, we would bring up our our gain and our bring down our lift, and then we would start to mess with the contrast. So there we go. And then we go to the gain again and then mess with the contrast. And then I'm gonna bring my gain up more just to make this image brighter. So we would kind of bring the uh, the shadows and the highlights, we would push them a little bit because this shot is, we don't want it to look bland, it's outside. We want the contrast to be high. So we're gonna label it uh, primaries. And then if you've seen my videos before, we would just balance it right now. We'd go to our vector scope and let's go ahead and cool it a little bit and then take some of the, the green out of the shot. So there we go. Label that white balance. Let's go ahead and let's go to our offset and I'm gonna start to bring it warmer. I'm gonna start to make it warmer. I'm gonna push it a little bit. All right, and now let me go to my lift and let me bring it down and cool it off a little bit. I'm just taking the uh, the warmth back out of the um, shadows. So I'm gonna look at her leggings and there we go. Take the gamma and bring it up 
as well. And then go to my left and take take it closer to the cyan. And then we can go to our back to our offset and bring that more towards the magenta. Brighten the so we'll label that. We'll call it. We could say it's a look, but I'm just kind of bringing the skin tones out a little bit with that. Um, and let's go ahead and go to our offset now. Let's go back to primaries and let's just open my parade. I'm just going to bring the whole image up more because I know there's sunshine in it. So let's go to our vector scope, get another node. I'm going to label it skin, all right? And I just want to bring her skin closer to this skin tone indicator here on the vector scope. And I'm going to do that today in the curves. And I'm going to go to hue versus hue. And I'm going to select her skin. And I'm going to go down here to hue rotate. And I'm going to bring it closer to that magenta. I'm going to create a parallel node. I'm going to label it, I'm going to label it green. And for the grass, I'm going to go to hue versus sat to affect the saturation of this green. And now I'm just gonna lift it a little bit. So I'm gonna kinda wanna brighten up her skin too. So I'm, all right, I'm gonna go back to skin. I'm gonna go to hue versus sat, select her skin. I'm gonna bring that up as well. For our last node, let's just create a power window around her body, her whole body. We won't get too technical. I'm not gonna brighten her up, I'm just gonna Click here to invert, and I'm just going to kind of dim everything around her slightly. I'm using the gain and gamma. Alright, so now let's compare our beginner look to our pro look. As you can see on the screen, um, it's night and day. We have more contrast, we have more, the colors are popping, the colors are more separated. And overall, oh my god, it just looks ten times better. Stay away from the things I was doing in the beginner look and you should be you should be good. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, just do it. And I'll see you in the next one.